Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. I am going to give you guys a very long intro just so you're prepared and I am very much on it and on point that I am probably going to be channeling what's going to come out in the cards because that's what's been happening for all the signs. So here we go. First of all, Libra, you have just went through massive transformation, right? Um, the lunar eclipse that happened in eclipse season was in your sign. So Again, what this means is that there was a lot of shedding. There is a lot of transformation that's happening for a lot of you guys, whether you're sun, moon, rising, or Venus. This is going to be playing out in a specific theme in your chart, right? But I'm sure you've already felt that. However, we have also another transit that's happening that we just experienced today. So Pluto, uh, which is a generational planet, uh, has recently gone retrograde in the sign of Aquarius. What does this mean? Unlike Mars and Mercury, when Pluto, because a generational planet, right, it takes years to go through a sign, when it goes retrograde, it, does, it doesn't have the same, I want to say it doesn't have the same obstacles that it would as if it was Mars or Mercury retrograde. It actually empowers you because wherever that area in your life you felt disempowered or you felt like you took a major hit, a major transformation, a major experience that completely turned your life 180 because that's Pluto energy. Um, when it goes retrograde, it's going to bring your power back tenfold. And in this, it is people stepping up into their power. This is, you know, no longer allowing people to push those boundaries. You are no longer struggling or dealing with struggles of power struggles, whether it's you or with other people. Um, again, it is a very... It is a very powerful planet. Obviously, we know that. We've been experiencing that, right? Uh, we're already seeing that in the media. We're already seeing that in the news with, you know, uh, the colleges having protests and all of that with celebrities and the entertainment industry. You know, Pluto was in Capricorn. Those that took advantage of others, you know, to acquire power and wealth are being dragged it's like they're all their dirty laundry is being shown you know for everyone to see why because from capricorn we went into aquarius which is about the collective it is about what's best for everyone not just what's best for me so again those are themes that are playing out and we're already seeing it with pluto going retrograde in aquarius it's bringing to us some type of notion or feeling of empowerment um and then it's going to go back or dip back into Capricorn in the month of September. And by doing that, it's going into the last degrees of Capricorn. So if you have Capricorn placements in the last degrees, you're definitely going to be affected um, before it finally returns to Aquarius and it stays there for the next coming 15 years. So we've been doing this dance of Pluto between Capricorn and Aquarius. But again, like I said, the positive in this is that when it is in the last degrees, it is going to empower you. Think of it as Pluto is the energy of, um, you know, rising from the ashes, the phoenix rising from the ashes. It is transformative, absolutely, sometimes painful, sometimes even devastating. However, it is to evolve our soul. It is to bring to us the power that we had all along, but we felt that we lost at some point in time. So these are major changes that are happening. We also have Venus that went into Taurus, very, you know, the ruling planet of a sign going into its sign. It is bringing abundance. It is bringing opportunity. It is bringing for some even attention, even, you know, um, even fame, you know, uh, depending on where you have these placements. So very, very positive energy. Uh, then later on in the year, we're going to be experiencing the Gemini and Jupiter conjunction. So, Again, a lot of massive potential here, a lot of abundance and a lot of transformation. So Libras, let's see exactly what you can expect for this month of May. All right, spirit guides, I call upon you, all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of definition, my son and masters, please step forward. Allow me to see here, sense you and receive the messages coming through for Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What are the, the major messages that we have here for Libra for the month of May 2024? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What they can expect for the month of May 2024. Give us clarity and insight. Allow us to see clearly and concisely. Here we go, Libra. Let's see what you can expect. I'm sure you've already been hit, right? You've already been experiencing that lunar eclipse that happened. Um, 
a lot, a lot of, uh, especially because the, you know, the south node is in your sign as well, Libra, um, with the north node being in Aries. So a lot of transformation that you guys are going to be going through for the sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, you guys are going to be experiencing this in different aspects. Um, however, with the sun, I feel like a lot of you guys are shedding uh, old skin think of it that way old skin of who you were realizing for some of you guys changing your mind about certain things uh maybe where you thought as an example that you wanted marriage for some of you guys with all of these astrological events you're realizing that you maybe don't want marriage or for others of you um you were scared of commitment uh, it's realizing that you're changing your mind and you know what I'm getting older I'm getting wiser and I think I'm ready to settle so definitely changing and this is something I tell my clients all the time changing your mind it is necessary uh, so don't be so harsh on yourself okay now for the moon and risings I feel like a lot of you guys are shedding old patterns and behaviors when it comes to love and romance uh, this could be not settling. This could be creating boundaries for some of you guys. This could be raising your standards. And I see you guys even writing down um, almost like journaling or writing down manifestations of the partner that you're looking for and the qualities that you're looking for. If this message is directly for you, just know that that person is on its way to you, Libra. Um, here we go. Let's see. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But there is definitely transformation that's happening again. Um yeah, for others of you, you've been thinking of like, you know what, I'm ready for love or I'm ready to embrace, but I want a specific person, character, integrity or personality that you're looking for. They're showing me like writing down script writing, um, automatic writing, journaling is going to like, that's the way to do it, especially right now that Venus is in Taurus, uh, Libra. All right, here we go. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. So what I'm seeing here is your happily ever after relies in knowing your worthiness, Libra. It is about really raising your standards. And I know that some of you guys may get offended, but what they're telling me is raise your standards, basically. Uh, you don't want to be dealing with the same personality. You've outgrown this, and I feel like the lunar eclipse that we experience, especially with the north, uh, sorry, with the so, uh, south node in your sign, this is what's being revealed to you. So for some of you guys in the past, you've settled, like plain and simple, not even gonna lie. For some of you guys, you've settled, and you're like, "What the hell? This is not what I signed up for." Well, you you did because you were settling, and you knew that. For others of you, allowing people to breadcrumb you is like this is triggering you right now. For some of you guys. Uh, if you're dealing with a specific person that has a tendency of like being flighty or perhaps, you know, they'll message you one day and then three days go by and you don't hear from them and then they message you again, like this is really triggering right now. And the reason for this is because spirit is telling you if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't resonate at a soul level, it's because it is not for you. So stop forcing things, Libra. It is very important. Why? Because in the settling, like, we can complain about our current experience or what we're currently going through if we have a lot to do with creating that unfolding future, okay? They're telling you to be more present. So for some of you guys, you have a like almost like think of it this way. What they're showing me is like you're dealing with someone. I see you guys on the table. You're like on your first date and you start to create this fantasy about who that person is. What they're telling you is you need to stop doing that. You need to start seeing them for what they're showing you because in this, are you going to be able to weed out the ones that are wasting your time? And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you already know, but you keep hoping for the best or you keep hoping, you know what, I'm going to trust them at face value and it hasn't paid off. And what they're telling you is you need to stop settling. You need to raise your standards. You need to know what you're worthy of, Libra. Libra, your, your ruling planet is Venus, right? And... This is the reason why in the tarot, uh, Libra is represented by the justice card. And what does that mean? That means equilibrium. It means balance, right? So you, when, because you're a Libra, whether you're a Libra rising sun, moon, or right, uh, Libra sun, moon, rising, or Venus, what this means is that your, your sole purpose in this life is to 
within within a multitude of things, one of your primary focuses for soul development is to find balance in your emotional connections, right? That's the reason why the justice represents you in the tarot, because you need to find that balance, right? It is making decisions that are not ruled or based on our emotion, but that align to our heart and our mind. That's what creates the balance. So this is the reason why you guys have a tendency of being known for like being indecisive because a lot of you guys that are like in the underdeveloped energy do have a tendency with indecisiveness. You feel like you want something today and then tomorrow you want something else. And there's nothing wrong with that. But this is what creates the chaos within those connections, whether it's on emotional aspect, whether it's connections at work, whether it's, you know, you run your own business and part of running your own business as an entrepreneur is how you connect with the masses, how you connect with people, how you treat people. So for some of you guys, it's finding the balance in that. For others of you, it's quite simple. It is knowing what you worth, what you're worth. It's knowing your worthiness and not settling for anything less than that. Why? Because Venus is your planet. Venus is an expansive planet. It is a planet of love, of beauty, of abundance, right? Sensuality. And being able to balance that in your life, it's going to be very transformative. Like you will experience a complete 180 in your life the moment you know or learn to master balance in your life. So the biggest takeaway is if you guys are experiencing a lot of emotional changes, a lot of relationships coming and going, know your worth and stop settling. If anything, Libra, my advice for you guys is raise your standards. Raise your standards. That simple. Because what they're showing me here is almost like having a tendency to go into the past or having a tendency of reliving the past or having a tendency of revisiting the past when you feel like things are not as good as they were in the past. So what's coming to mind is those of you guys that are single. If you've been single for quite a while, you have a tendency of reaching out to the ex. Why? Because you can't move on because there's no one in the present that has your attention. For others of you, it could be that you have a tendency of attracting the same type of personality. So it's becoming aware of that. And I feel like this eclipse season has taught us to shed and to be okay with shedding the old version of ourselves, right? With the Pluto energy, it is bringing the death to the old version of yourself to be able to fully embrace the new version of yourself, the stepping up, the glow up. The Libra that is getting everything that they deserve because you are naturally ruled by the planet of blessings. Remember who you are, Libra. All right, my lovelies. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.